Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today we're going to go around and got some jobbers with the animals. It's also it's animal delivery day, only a little one though. Only a little animal delivery because we're quite stocked of animals. But I do need a couple I need to top up. Uh, we have got to do another one for next week with some little bits and barbs and some stuff for Morgan. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me. We'll do the animal unboxing and do some other jobs for today. First job out today is we're going to unbox the animals. Because the bloke, he's been on the ball this morning and he almost beat me here today. So we've got a lovely box of animals. We've got a box here of stuff and a box there of stuff. I think that's the equipment we need for the tanks for these animals when we sell them. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to be opening them, see what we've got in the box and then crack on with the day. Well, ha, we're going high tech and hand free again. Whoa. <laughs> So, we've got animals in the box. What has Alex ordered? What am I missing? If you've been paying attention, you can work out what I haven't got in stock and what I've probably ordered. If you've been paying attention, Alex. So, what do you reckon? Something big, something shiny, something lizardy, something snaky, something fishy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't never know. Never knows what Alex is ordering. Never knows. I'm sorry, we had customers come in and disturb us. Disturbed us. Oh, I don't know. Why would customers come into the shop? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what's Alex got in the box? Whoop. Go away. Oh, okay. So we have got... Oh, oh, oh. What's Alex got in his box? What has he got? Is it shiny? Is it scary? It is Rico Tortoise. He's a little dude. He's a little dude. So we've got little horse field tortoise to restock our tortoise needs. One of them is already sold though, but I have got one that's going to be for the shop. So what we have to do, very small ones these are, we are going to set them all up and then get some fresh veggies for them and put some fresh veggies in and they can have a little bit of a munchie oh, oh, oh and I can open the rest of them boxes now come on buddy you got a little bit cold there he is oh he's a little beast he's a little beast very very cool very very happy with them all bright eyed and bushy tailed so now we need to get him in there because it's, you can see he's been attacking that box. So what we're going to do is put them in. I'm not going to mess around today. We can get them straight in because they're cold today. So we're going to jump on and put them straight in the tank. So I do need to get some of the dried food out and we need to put the fresh water in the bowl. So I'll do that and then we can put them in and they can get nice and warm straight away. Okay, so I've done the water, still got to do the veg, but we can, we can do that later on today. Main thing is getting them nice and warm. I think that's more important than anything at the moment. The last thing we want them to do is to go into a late hibernation. Would not be fun, sir. It might be fun for you, you get to have a nice long siesta. Oh yes, he's doing really well. So there you go, my friend. Have a little explore, and I'll go get your little buddy. Yes. There he is. Do -do 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 -do. What a little beast. Do -do -do. Oh, your little friend's already gone in the cave. He's already claimed it. He's claimed the cave. You'll have to claim the logo. That's what you'll have to do. Or you can have a battle over the cave, but don't have a battle today. Have a rest today and then you can have a big battle over the cave tomorrow. How's that sound, yeah? What do you think? Sound like a plan? Oh, I reckon it sounds like a plan. What do you think? Well, you should be nice and warm now. This will keep you nice and warm. It's what we like. We like warm tortoises. Don't we, my friend? Yes. Don't we, my friend? Yes, we do. Oh, where's he going? He's going on his travels. You go and explore then, buddy. I've got some other little jobs to do 
And then once we're doing everybody's veg, we can uh, come back and we drop you some veggies in. The main thing is we get them warm first because they were really quite cold today. So I've been there to look. We are completely out of veg. I popped some carrots and we got an apple. Um, so I could give them a little treat to some fruit and stuff today, but I have done a little order for some veg to come later on today. Um, so we might put a little bit in there for them to have a little bit in a bit, but they're, they're sleeping at the moment from having uh, been so cold earlier on today. So we've got one sleeping in this corner, even though he's got a house and everything, and the other one is right at the back of that cave, just at the back. So they're, they're settled in, gone straight to sleep. So it's no asshole, they can sleep as long as they want. Um, but I should have some veg come in in the next hour or two. Um, but I've also got some apple, some carrot, some oranges and some pears. So I could obviously give them a little bit of a fruity mix if I wanted to. But we have boxes to open. So let's see what Alex has got in the old box. So I'm going to set you up. Oh, don't you feel fancy? Wow, look at that. Look at that. See? Hands free. So I still haven't got any tools to open stuff properly. Still have not learned. Whoa. Ooh. We got thermostatos. Wow, lovely job. Keeping all the animals nice and warm. What a top. Oh, we got another box. Longest boxes, Maximus. Let's see if we can open it up. Ah. We don't need knives, we just use brute force. Ooh. Look at that. Lovely bulb. Oh, and it's perfect. Perfect for a tortoise. Absolutely perfect to Mundo. That is. Sweet as a nut. So that is now ready for when tomorrow we should be having the tank and all the other equipment coming for the tortoise. Um, and then probably Saturday. No. They're going to come to collect all the tank on Thursday. Then Saturday, once the, the tortoise has been here for a couple of days, I've checked him over, he can then go to his forever home. So that's going to be the plan for the weekend, taking the tortoise to forever home. I do have a little bit of news as well. So if you remember the other week, we had a trip to Vintage Dolly. Do -do -do -do. No, it's that way. That's the better way. That's it, Vintage Dolly. And we was looking at the crystals and the fossils. Um, but Vintage Dolly don't actually own the cabinet we were looking at. Well, they own the cabinet, but not the stuff inside. So they rent out the cabinets. And I've had the person who puts the stuff in the cabinet message me saying thank you very much for doing the video and all stuff like that and they've actually invited me to come and see their big unit with all their fossils and crystals and stuff like that um so they're gonna, i've asked if we can maybe do a video of going up there and, and making a little video on the whole thing i have accepted their offer of going up but i'm just waiting on a reply of of what we're going to do where it is and time scales and stuff like that but they've also said they've got a little present for me. Ho, 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 ho. So that should be super cool. We might be able to do another adventure video on one of the days. We've just got to work out a day where we, we're free and we've got Morgan in the shop and we can arrange a day that's okay with them as well. And I don't know how much I'll be able to film, of course, as well, because you know, people don't like showing everything. Um, so we'll see how we get on, but that is going to be a plan for us that we can go on a fossil adventure to see the place where they keep all their massive collection of all the crystals and fossils and stuff. So that would be super duper, super de cool. What we think we're gonna do now is, I think we do a little bit of handling with some of the lizards and then maybe a little bit of training as well. Uh, we started some more training with the European Eyed Lizard the other day, but we haven't done anything with the Blue Tongue Skink, not a sausage. So we're going to maybe do a little bit of handling with him today. He's been getting a little bit huffy and stuff in the tank. Originally he was fine, but because we've been letting him settle and it's been 
a reasonable amount of time now he's started to realize that he doesn't want to be touched anymore because he's been not touched for so long so we're going to be making sure we're going to pick him up today see how he handles see if he's going to be trying to attack or if he settles down after a little bit because he does try and huff up and threatens to bite but we don't know if he's going to so we're going to do a little bit of a test today see how he's going to handle see how he does and if he's just going to kick off the whole time or if he does actually calm down and then afterwards we do a little bit more with the european eyed lizard and if we've got time i'll see if we can find anybody else but that might be most of the video today depending on how quick and how well they do so let's crack on with the blue tongue first so we're going to get a couple of close-ups of him with the good cam with the close-up camera first hello how are you doing today buddy you're looking very nice we can do a little bit of handling so i'm not going to stress you out too much but it's going to be a little bit stressful because of course we've got to try and get your handling okay so it's going to be nice and chilled nice and steady at first and then we'll see how far we get okay so we're going to start by see if we can give him just a little touch you okay mate he's huffing you okay? You okay, mate? See, he's stressing out he is. You okay, buddy? We've got to, we, we, we can't give up too quickly because he's going to get set in his ways like this and he's not going to be very good for handling at all. So we need to try and sort something out so um, he calms down a little bit. So I might just have to maybe see about just picking him up and then see how we go from there because just touching him in the tank I think it's going to wind him up. Um, let's just put you here. Okay. Can you see? Just about, just about. You okay buddy? Hey? Oh he's going under the moss. He's trying to get away. He's trying to get away. <laughs> he's trying to do a runner. Come on. Hey? Come on. When he wants to say hello. I'm going back this way. He's coming back out. Come on, you're okay. You're okay, I promise. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay, buddy. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's come out. You're okay, mate. Okay, we got him. You're okay, my friend. Let me just put the camera up. You're okay. You okay? Hey bird, it's okay. See? You're all right. You okay? You okay? You can wiggle. You can wiggle. It's fine. You okay? You okay? You okay? Shh. You okay? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You okay? Shh. You okay, buddy? So I'm just gonna hold him steady, and then once I've got him, I'm gonna open palm. Basically, so he doesn't feel like he's trapped. You okay, mate? You okay? You can get out if you want to. See? Then we just re-grab, and let him slowly slide out. We don't want tight grips on him at all, because it will stress him out even more, and he'll start death rolling, and really stressing him out. He's not, you okay? You okay, mate? I promise. You okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? Nice and chilled out. Eventually, he's going to realise that nothing bad's happened, and he'll calm right down. See? He's not so scary. You okay? You okay? He probably doesn't like it because I'm above him as well. You okay, my friend? See? It's not so scary. Not so scary. It's okay. So he hasn't bit, he has been threatening to bite. And I think if I had my hand too close to his mouth, I think he would try and bite. But I've kept a good distance away from his head. And he's calming, slowly calming down. He's not as wiggly. You okay, my friend? You okay? See, he's slowing right down now. Realises that we're not hurting him. It's a waste of energy to be kicking off. He is hissing. 
Why? Is it okay? It's just a camera. It's okay. He's calming right down. It's fine, mate. There we go. As soon as he takes, because he's taking big breaths at the moment, because he's scared. And he's been using a lot of energy to try and wiggle away. So what we're waiting for is what he's doing now. He slowed his breathing right down. So it shows he's slowly starting to chill out. He's realised that we're not trying to hurt him. And he's just trying to take in what's going on. He does it, He still thinks we're trying to hurt him. But he's calmed down enough just to see what's going on. Because last thing he wants to do is waste energy trying to get away when there's no reason to get away. So he's now thinking, oh, okay, I haven't been hurt, but is it still safe enough just to chill? Because last thing an animal wants to do is waste energy. Because they don't know when they're gonna get their next meal. So any energy they can save, they will save. Especially with reptiles, because they run out of energy quite quick. They usually have a little bit of energy built up and then as soon as they use that energy, they then have to chill out a little bit and let that energy build back up again. Uh, helps as well when they're basking. It gives them a lot more energy when they're nice and hot. So as they cool down, they get slower and slower and lose even more energy. But you've calmed right down now, haven't you, little buddy? Can I give you a stroke? Is that too much? Little stroke with the thumb. Oh, and he started wiggling again. As soon as we stroked him, but he's not trying to run away. It's really, really fast. He's just got a little bit of a wiggle in him, which is fine. And it, mate, it's fine to have a wiggle. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. But we're not going to go too long. I think we've got to the end now, where he's chilled out. Oh, he's doing a belly roll. He's doing a death roll. So I think he's happy now. So what we'll do? We'll end it with a good note. So as soon as he calms right down and stops moving again. We reward that good behavior by putting him back like now. So he's calm right down. So we lift him up and put him back in and we let him crawl in at his own speed. There we go. So the interaction has ended happily. He's crawled off at his own speed and he feels safe. Perfect, perfect ending. Start wasn't exactly perfect, but we can't moan at him for doing that because it's one of the first times we've had a proper, proper handle of him. He didn't bite. He hissed just to show that he wasn't happy uh, and then he was trying to escape more than anything else. But you saw towards the end, he calmed right down and we were able to just hold him nice, give him a tiny stroke and then we rewarded the good behaviour at the end by putting him back in the tank. So, I'm going to catch them but <laughs> I think we did well. I think he did well. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We have to hold off on our next one. We've got rescue fishies on the way. So we're going to hold off, wait till the rescue fishies come, sort them out. Then if we've got time afterwards, we'll crack on and do some stuff with the European eyed lizard, the most underrated lizard in the shop. I think they're so cool and they make such better pets than a lot of the lizards that are in the beginners. I think they're such cool, such cool. I think they're such cool, I do. Mm -hmm. All right, it's all come at once. So we've got veggies, loads of veggies. Bags of veggies, wah -ha, ha so we can feed everybody. And we've had our fishes come. They didn't come in these boxes. I've had to put them in a different box because the customer wanted to take her boxes back. So we've got three catfish, three reed fish, and two blue acaras, if I remember right. Whoop. Wah -ha, so we've got two. Let me, let me adjust, to, let me get you a different angle. Different angle of the dangle, that's what we need. Oh, that's better. So we've got the electric blue acaras. We have our reed fish and our little catfishes. I can't remember exactly what these ones are called, but I'll do my research and I'll find out exactly which ones they're called. We've had them in before. I know I've had them in before, but I've just, it's hard to remember every single name of the catfishes. But there's the reed fishes. They are proper escape artists. So we're gonna have to really, really secure the tank as they're gonna end up not in the tank anymore. So let's find uh, some tanks them to go in. We'll bag them up into separate bags and then we can crack on with getting them acclimated and putting them in the tank. Okay, so I caught up the blue acaras. They had a right mad and they did. They're trying to jump and everything. So they'll be going into here. 
We do have to keep an eye on them though, because they're even though they're a pair, they're not a proper pair. So there's two fish, we class them as a pair, but it's not a boyfriend and a girlfriend. So there's a chance of them fighting. So we're gonna leave a lot of this floating mat in there. So it gives them something to hide between each other. I'm gonna put something in there as well. Um, but if they start having fights, we might have to separate them off. But we're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna watch them. But if they start fighting, we're gonna have to separate them. But we'll give them a little dunk. And then, uh, we we'll take some of it out. We won't need as much of this. And then we can mix the water and then be ready to go. So I've got our next slot. I've just put them in the bag. We've got our lovely catfishes. Really, really nice. I am going to go through identifying and get the scientific name for them. I think the iguana's kicking off. He is. He's ripped that light down. I've just put that light back up and he's kicking off today. I don't know why. But we're going to find a nice little the secluded spot for these to go. Um, this one's got our albino um, catfishes in. Do, 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 do. We've got our glass catfishes. Uh, they could go in here with our little lemon tetris. So if I hold this with my other hand, we can open this. Okay. Drop them down, and then add a bit of water. There we go, let them acclimate. And we move on to our reed fishes. What are you doing? You're kicking off because you're hungry. What are you kicking off for? Just put that light back up. Just put the light back up and you're kicking off. Don't you run out the tank, go that way. Go on, go that way because you're gonna run out the tank. Go on, keep going, all the way. Keep going, go on. If you climb out this tank, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, it lights back up. You are naughty. I don't know, if we get some food for him and that might calm him down, I think. Well, hey, it's reed fish time. We got him in there, them wiggly wigglers there. Wiggly wigglers. So we're going for the old piranha tank. That's where they are going to live, so we're just gonna well, we need extra hands. I haven't got. We need a third arm. I've decided I'm going to invest in a third arm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, dokie then. So those are our reed fish. Basically, the most escapey escapers that ever could escape. So all the little cracks and nooks and crannies in the tanks are going to have to be blocked up, else this fish is not going to be in the tank anymore. So this bag we've got on this side. It's going to be swapped over to here. It's going to be rammed into this corner, like so. So when we shut this, that angle there isn't exposed and the fish can't get out. That is the plan. Whether they escape or not, we shall not know. But they're, going to, they're trying to look now. We've got new, these are almost ready, so give them a dunk. And then um, we've got our blue Akaras, they're still in the bag, look at that. Still in the bag, we'll give them another dunk. And then next, we should be able to release them all. It's releasing the fishes time. Oh, oh, we've got our electric blue Akaras. Come on then, lads. Out we go. You go the wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, fishes. Wrong way, there we go. There we go. That's better, isn't it? That's better. Are you trying to eat my eat my little fishes next door? Leave my little fishes next door alone. <laughs> Lovely job, out. That's first fishes in. Now we've got to do the question: Is are the reed fish still in the bag? They are still in the bag. Now that's rare. That is rare. Okay, come on, then, catfishes. Come on, and out we comes. Here we are. Come on. All the way. Last one. No, you didn't. There we go. Lovely job. Let them have a swim. I'll turn the lights off in a set for them, let them chill out. Then I'll be in that by the end of the day. Shut this one up. Whoa. Then we have our reed fishes. Come on, here he comes. There we go. 
No trying to escape. I saw you. I saw you trying to escape, you naughty fish. So I'm gonna shoot this. Uh, that is not acceptable. Gap is not acceptable. We have to make sure everything is super tight and super secure. Now that is okay. I think we're good there as well. So I'm happy about that. We should have fishes in there when I come back in tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Are uh, you all right? So what we're gonna do now is she's been, he's been playing up all day now, so I think he's hungry. So I've done, I've got a whole tub of Mario worms. So we can see he's hungry. If I get the target, he should come right down for us. I think Mr. Chameleon's hungry as well, because he's come down as well, but he's still, still shedding. Still shedding he is. So we might have to help him tomorrow with some shed help. Um, we're gonna get the target. See if he wants to come down. On target. Oh, we got the target. Wow. You missed it. Look in the ball. Look in the ball. They're too small. Look. They're all in the ball. Have a try. Don't be like that. Have a try, look. They're in the ball. Look. Have a look. Ian, they're too small for him. He's like, no, they're too small for me. They are, Malix. I want big stuff. Fine then. Well, that's got out the window. We'll have to do something else. Okay, so he was not happy with the Mario webs. So we're going to see if he wants veg. Want some veg? Is veg going to be acceptable? It's tomorrow's bonus feeding day. So tomorrow you get a bonus feed, but I can't be giving you extra stuff when you've got bonus feeding day tomorrow. So what do you think of veg? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know? Can you repeat the question? You don't look impressed. You don't look, what, what, what's wrong? What am I possibly doing wrong? Am I going to have to get you a little locust? Is that what it is? I've got to feed the tortoises as well, and you're wasting the time we've got for the video. You don't look impressed at all. Do you? Hey? Eh? Hey? Eh? Alright then, we'll leave you the veg. I'm not bowing down to you. I'm not letting you win. You're not getting extra boogies when you're getting extra boogies tomorrow. You've got plenty of food there. So eat that, and then we can have bugs tomorrow. Okay, I promise you'll have bugs tomorrow. Well, you'll have moises tomorrow. Proper moises, okay? Well, he doesn't look happy at all. He's not impressed. He says, Alex, where's my real meaty food? Where's my proper food, Alex? Oh, I don't know. You've got to wait till tomorrow. He's got to wait till bonus feeding day tomorrow, but he's getting impatient, he is. Getting impatient. So let's do the tortoises, and then that's probably going to be us for today. Oh, we get some lovely veggies for him. We've got a little bum over there. What are you doing? Oi, what are you doing? You playing King of the Castle? Is it? Is he the dirty rascal? Is that what it is? Oh, veggies. Lovely veggies. I think that's plenty for you two. And we'll get some secret blend of herbs and spices and we'll be raring to go. Yes. You chilling on the logo? Oh, he's chilling. Well, hey, here we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely calcium. Nah, single blend herbs and spices, that's what it is. It's not calcium. Shh. There we go. Happy tortoises. Happy tortoises. Lovely job. Happy days. So I think that's going to be all the time we've got for today. We're going to have to do a little bit of training on the European Oil Lizard tomorrow when we do bonus feeding day. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Ring that bell for me if you haven't already. If you want to watch another video, should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, she's up there. If you want to watch the playlist, she's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.